Swahili, also known as Kiswahili translation, language of the Swahili people, is a Bantu language and the first language of the Swahili people. It is a lingua franca of the African Great Lakes region and other parts of eastern and southeastern Africa, including Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Mozambique, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC. Comorian, spoken in the Comoros Islands is sometimes considered to be a dialect of Swahili, though other authorities consider it a distinct language. The exact number of Swahili speakers, be it native or second language speakers, is unknown and a matter of debate. Various estimates have been put forward and they vary widely, from 50 million to over 100 million. Swahili serves as a national language of four nations, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, and the DRC. Shikomer, the official language in Comoros and also spoken in Mayat Shimoare, is related to Swahili. Swahili is also one of the working languages of the African Union and officially recognized as a lingua franca of the East African community. South Africa legalized the teaching of Swahili in South African schools as an optional subject beginning in 2020. A significant fraction of Swahili vocabulary derives from Arabic, in part conveyed by Arabic speaking Muslim inhabitants. For example, the Swahili word for book is katabu, traceable back to the Arabic word katab katabu from the root ktb. Right. However, the Swahili plural form of this word, books, is vitabu, following Bantu grammar in which ki is reanalyzed as a nominal class prefix, whose plural is v. Topic. Classification Swahili is a Bantu language of the Sabaki branch. In Guthrie's geographic classification, Swahili is in Bantu zone G, whereas the other Sabaki languages are in zone E70, commonly under the name Nika. Local folk theories of the language have often considered Swahili to be a mixed language because of its many loan words from Arabic, and the fact that Swahili people have historically been Muslims. However, historical linguists do not consider the Arabic influence on Swahili to be significant enough to classify it as a mixed language, since Arabic influence is limited to lexical items, most of which have only been borrowed after 1500, while the grammatical and syntactic structure of the language is typically Bantu. History Topic. Origin Its old name was Kingozi, but as traders came from Arab countries, their vocabulary intermingled with the language. It was originally written in Arabic script. The earliest known documents written in Swahili are letters written in Kilwa in 1711 in the Arabic script that were sent to the Portuguese of Mozambique and their local allies. The original letters are preserved in the historical archives of Goa, India. Its name came from Arabic, Sahil Sahil. Topic. Coast Broken plural Sawahil Sawahil Coasts Sawahili Sawahili equals of coasts equals Topic Colonial period Equals. Since Swahili was the language of commerce in East Africa, the colonial administrators wanted to standardize it. In June 1928, an interterritorial conference attended by representatives of Kenya, Tanganyika, Uganda, and Zanzibar took place in Mombasa. The Zanzibar dialect was chosen as standard Swahili for those areas, and the standard orthography for Swahili was adopted. Equals. Topic. Current status Equals, Swahili has become a second language spoken by tens of millions in three African Great Lakes countries Tanzania, Kenya, and the DRC where it is an official or national language. It is the only African language in the African Union. In 2016, Swahili was made a compulsory subject in all Kenyan schools. Swahili and closely related languages are spoken by relatively small numbers of people in Burundi, Comoros, Malawi, Mozambique, Uganda, Zambia and Rwanda. 
The language was still understood in the southern ports of the Red Sea in the 20th century. Some 80% of approximately 49 million Tanzanians speak Swahili in addition to their first languages. The five eastern provinces of the DRC are Swahili speaking. Nearly half the 66 million Congolese reportedly speak it. Swahili speakers may number 120 to 150 million in total. Equals Topic Phonology Equals Unlike the vast majority of Niger-Congo languages, Swahili lacks contrastive tone. That and the language's shallow orthography make Swahili said to be the easiest African language for an English speaker to learn. Equals Topic Vowels Equals Standard Swahili has five vowel phonemes I, and U. Vowels are never reduced, regardless of stress, but they are pronounced in full as follows is pronounced like the A in father, is pronounced like the E in get, I is pronounced like the E in C, is pronounced somewhat like the O in Ford, U is pronounced like the U in Zulu or U in loop. Topic. Consonants Swahili also has the phonemes p t t k b d d i n some Arabic loans nouns verbs adjectives emphasis or intensity is expressed by reproducing the original emphatic consonants d s t z and the uvular q or lengthening of vowel where aspiration would be used in inherited Bantu words. Topic <laughs> orthography. <laughs> Swahili is currently written in an alphabet close to English, except it does not use the letters Q and X. There are two digraphs for native sounds, CH and SH. C is not used apart from unassimilated English loans and, occasionally, as a substitute for K in advertisements. There are also several digraphs for Arabic sounds not distinguished in pronunciation outside of traditional Swahili areas. The language used to be written in the Arabic script. Unlike adaptations of the Arabic script for other languages, relatively little accommodation was made for Swahili. There were also differences in orthographic conventions between cities and authors and over the centuries, some quite precise but others different enough to cause difficulties with intelligibility. E, and, I, O, and, U, were often conflated, but in some spellings, E, was distinguished from, I, by rotating the kasra 90 degrees and, O, was distinguished from, U, by writing the dama backwards. Several Swahili consonants do not have equivalents in Arabic, and for them, often no special letters were created unlike, for example, Urdu script. Instead, the closest Arabic sound is substituted. Not only did that mean that one letter often stands for more than one sound, but also writers made different choices of which consonant to substitute. Here are some of the equivalents between Arabic Swahili and Roman Swahili. That was the general situation, but conventions from Urdu were adopted by some authors so as to distinguish aspiration and p from b, pa p a, gazelle, pa p a a, roof. Although it is not found in standard Swahili today, there is a distinction between dental and alveolar consonants in some dialects, which is reflected in some orthographies, for example in kua kuda to meet versus kuda cut, a to be satisfied. A k with the dots of y was used for ch in some conventions, Kentucky being historically and even contemporaneously a more accurate transcription than Roman ch. In Mombasa, it was common to use the Arabic emphatics for cw, for example in cici swiswi standard cici we and kita kit wa standard kichwa head. Word division differs from Roman norms. Particles such as ya, na, si, kwa, ni are joined to the following noun, and possessives such as yangu and yako are joined to the preceding noun, but verbs are written as two words, with the subject and tense aspect mood morphemes separated from the object and root, as in aliya niambia, he who told me. <laughs> Grammar Topic. Noun classes
Topic: <laughs> Semantic motivation. The Qi V class historically consisted of two separate genders: artifacts, Bantu class seven eighths, utensils and hand tools mostly, and diminutives, Bantu class twelve, which were conflated at a stage ancestral to Swahili. Examples of the former are Kisu knife, Kiti chair, from Mti tree wood, Chambo vessel, a contraction of Ki Ambo. Examples of the latter are Kidoto infant. From M. Toto, child, Katawi, frond, from Tawi, branch, and Chumba, ki umba, room, from Nyumba, house. It is the diminutive sense that has been furthest extended. An extension common to diminutives in many languages is approximation and resemblance, having a little bit of some characteristic, like Y or Ish in English. For example, there is Kajani, green, from Yani, leaf. Compare English leafy, kichaka, bush, from chaka, clump, and kivuli, shadow, from uvuli, shade. A little bit of a verb would be an instance of an action, and such instantiations, usually not very active ones, are found, kifo, death, from the verb fa, to die, kiota, nest, from oda, to brood, chakula, food, from kula, to eat, kivuko. Afford, a pass, from Vuka, to cross, and Kilimia, the Pleiades, from Lemia, to farm with, from its role in guiding planting. A resemblance, or being a bit like something, implies marginal status in a category, so things that are marginal examples of their class may take the key, v prefixes. One example is chura, ki ura, frog, which is only half terrestrial and therefore as marginal as an animal. This extension may account for disabilities as well. Kalema, a cripple. Kipofu, a blind person. Kazivi, a deaf person. Finally, diminutives often denote contempt, and contempt is sometimes expressed against things that are dangerous. This might be the historical explanation for kifuru, rhinoceros, kingugwa, spotted hyena, and kiboko, hippopotamus, perhaps originally meaning stubby legs. Another class with broad semantic extension is the M per mile class Bantu classes three quarters. This is often called the tree class, because MTI, midi, trees, is the prototypical example. However, it seems to cover vital entities neither human nor typical animals, trees and other plants, such as mwichu forest and mtama millet and from there, things made from plants, like makaka mat, supernatural and natural forces, such as wezi moon, m lima mountain, mto river, active things, such as moto fire, including active body parts moyo heart, m kono hand, arm, and human groups, which are vital but not themselves human, such as mji village, and, by analogy, Zinga beehive, cannon. From the central idea of tree, which is thin, tall, and spreading, comes an extension to other long or extended things or parts of things, such as muevali umbrella, moshi smoke, m sumari nail, and from activity there even come active instantiations of verbs, such as mfuo metal forging, from fua to forge, or mlio a sound, from lia to make a sound. Words may be connected to their class by more than one metaphor. For example, M. Kono is an active body part, and M. T. O. is an active natural force, but they are also both long and thin. Things with a trajectory, such as M. Paka border and Mwendo journey, are classified with long thin things, as in many other languages with noun classes. This may be further extended to anything dealing with time, such as M. Waka year and perhaps M. Shahara wages. Animals exceptional in some way and so not easily fitting in the other classes may be placed in this class. The other classes have foundations that may at first seem similarly counterintuitive. In short, classes 1 to 2 include most words for people, kin terms, professions, ethnicities, etc., including translations of most English words ending in er. They include a couple generic words for animals, manama beast, m dudu bug. Classes 5 to 6 have a broad semantic range of groups, expanses, and augmentatives. Although interrelated, it is easier to illustrate if broken down. Augmentatives, such as joka serpent from nioka snake, lead to titles and other terms of respect the opposite of diminutives, which lead to terms of contempt, b wana sir, shangazi ant, fundi craftsman, kadi judge. 
Expanses, Ziwa lake, Bond valley, Taifa country, Anga sky. From this, mass nouns, maji water, vumbi dust and other liquids and fine particulates which may cover broad expanses, ka charcoal, mali wealth, maradawa abundance. Collectives, kundi group, kabila language, ethnic group, jeshi army, daraha stairs, menioya fur, feathers, mapesa small change, manyasi weeds, jangu millipede large set of legs, marimba xylophone large set of keys. From this, individual things found in groups, jiwi stone, tawi branch, ua flower, tunda fruit also the names of most fruits, yai egg, mapacha twins, gino tooth, tumbo stomach cf. English guts, and paired body parts such as jicho I, bawa wing, etc. Also collective or dialogic actions, which occur among groups of people, neno a word, from kunina to speak and by extension, mental verbal processes, wazo thought, mana meaning, pigo a stroke, blow, from kupiga to hit, gamvi a quarrel, shari advice, plan, kosa mistake, jambo affair, penzi love, jibu answer, agano promise, malipo payment, from pairing, reproduction is suggested as another extension fruit, egg, testicle, flower, twins, etc., but these generally duplicate one or more of the subcategories above. Classes 9 to 10 are used for most typical animals, ndege bird, samaki fish, and the specific names of typical beasts, birds, and bugs. However, this is the other class, for words not fitting well elsewhere, and about half of the class 9 to 10 nouns are foreign loanwords. Loans may be classified as 9 to 10 because they lack the prefixes inherent in other classes, and most native class 9 to 10 nouns have no prefix. Thus they do not form a coherent semantic class, though there are still semantic extensions from individual words. Class 11 which takes class 10 for the plural are mostly nouns with an extended outline shape in either one dimension or two. Mass nouns that are generally localized rather than covering vast expanses, uji porridge, wali cooked rice. Broad, yukuda wall, yukucha fingernail, upande side approximately equals ubavu rib, wavu net, weo sole, footprint, ua fence, yard, uteo winnowing basket. Long, utambi wick, utepe stripe, uta bow, ubavu rib, ufa crack, uniwele a hair. From a hair, singulatives of nouns, which are often class six collectives in the plural, unyoya a feather, uvumbi a grain of dust, ushanga a bead. Class fourteen are abstractions, such as utoto childhood from m toto a child and have no plural. They have the same prefixes and concord as class eleven, except optionally for adjectival concord. Class fifteen are verbal infinitives. Classes sixteen to eighteen are locatives. The Bantu nouns of these classes have been lost, the only permanent member is the Arabic loan Mahali places, but in Mombasa Swahili, the old prefixes survive, Pahali place, Mwahali places. However, any noun with the locative suffix ni takes class 16 to 18 agreement. The distinction between them is that class 16 agreement is used if the location is intended to be definite, at, class 17 if indefinite, around, or involves motion, to, toward and class 18 if it involves containment within mahali pazuri a good spot mahali kuzuri a nice area mahali muzuri it's nice in there topic <laughs> agreement swahili phrases agree with nouns in a system of concord but if the noun refers to a human they accord with noun classes 1 to 2 regardless of their noun class Verbs agree with the noun class of their subjects and objects, adjectives, prepositions and demonstratives agree with the noun class of their nouns. In standard Swahili, Kiswahili Sanifu, based on the dialect spoken in Zanzibar, the system is rather complex, however, it is drastically simplified in many local variants where Swahili is not a native language, such as in Nairobi. In non-native Swahili, concord reflects only animacy, human subjects and objects trigger a, wa and m, wa in verbal concord, while non-human subjects and objects of whatever class trigger i, z. Infinitives vary between standard ku and reduced i, of, is animate wa and inanimate ya, za. In standard Swahili, human subjects and objects of whatever class trigger animacy concord in a, wa and m, wa, and non-human subjects and objects trigger a variety of gender concord prefixes.
Topic: <laughs> Dialects and closely related languages. This list is based on Swahili and Sabaki, a linguistic history. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dialects. Modern standard Swahili is based on Kiunguha, the dialect spoken in Zanzibar town, but there are numerous dialects of Swahili, some of which are mutually unintelligible, such as the following. <laughs> Old dialects Maho 2009 considers these to be distinct languages. Kimwani is spoken in the Karimba Islands and northern coastal Mozambique. Chimwini is spoken by the ethnic minorities in and around the town of Barawa on the southern coast of Somalia. Kabajuni is spoken by the Bajuni minority ethnic group on the coast and islands on both sides of the Somali-Kenyan border and in the Bajuni Islands the northern part of the Lamu archipelago and is also called Kidiku and Kagunya. Socotra Swahili extinct. Sidi, in Gujarat extinct. the rest of the dialects are divided by him into two groups. Mombasa Lamu Swahili Lamu Kiamu is spoken in and around the island of Lamu AMU. Kapate is a local dialect of Pate Island, considered to be closest to the original dialect of Kingozi. Kingozi is an ancient dialect spoken on the Indian Ocean coast between Lamu and Somalia and is sometimes still used in poetry. It is often considered the source of Swahili. Mombasa Chijavu is a subdialect of the Mombasa area. Kimvita is the major dialect of Mombasa, also known as Mvita, which means war, in reference to the many wars which were fought over it, the other major dialect alongside Kiunguha. Kingare is the subdialect of the Mombasa area. Kimrima is spoken around Pangani, Vanga, Dar es Salaam, Rufiji, and Mafia Island. Kiunguha is spoken in Zanzibar city and environs on Unguha Zanzibar island. Kitambatu Pemba dialects occupy the bulk of the island. Mambrui, Malindi Chichifundi, a dialect of the southern Kenya coast. Shwaka Kivumba, a dialect of the southern Kenya coast. Nasbi Madagascar. Pemba Swahili Kipemba is a local dialect of the Pemba island. Kitambatu and Kimakunduchi are the countryside dialects of the island of Zanzibar. Kimakunduchi is a recent renaming of Kiadimu. The old name means surf, and so is considered pejorative. Makunduchi, Mafia, Mbwira, Kilwa, extinct. Kimgeo used to be spoken around Kilwa district and to the south. Maho includes the various Comorian dialects as a third group. Most other authorities consider Comorian to be a Sabaki language distinct from Swahili. Topic: Other regions. In Somalia, where the Afroasiatic Somali language predominates, a variant of Swahili referred to as Chimwini, also known as Chimbalazi, is spoken along the Benadir coast by the Bravanese people. Another Swahili dialect known as Kabajuni also serves as the mother tongue of the Bajuni minority ethnic group, which lives in the tiny Bajuni Islands as well as the southern Kismayo region. In Oman, there are an estimated 22,000 people who speak Swahili. Most are descendants of those repatriated after the fall of the Sultanate of Zanzibar. Topic: <laughs> Swahili poets. Shaban bin Robert Matthias E. Manampala Euphrase Kezilahabi Christopher Mwashinga Tumi Malakane See also Mandombi script Swahili literature UCLA Language Materials Project Languages of Africa